everybody. I'm Susan. Welcome to Plateau Art Studio, Art for Kids. Join me as I walk you through step by step on some art projects. Let's see what we're doing today. Hi everyone. Well today we're going to work on a turtle, a sea turtle. So this could be a fun little project. We're going to, you'll need your crayons, a little water tub, and uh, maybe some green and blue paint for a wash. And I'll explain what that is in a little bit. So let's get started with our crayons. I want you to color in your turtle. So that's gonna take a little while. Um, and, oh, here's one that I already have colored in, just to give you an idea. So I'm gonna do a little bit of coloring with you and then go back to this one. So I already have chosen my colors and uh, let's see, I'm going to do some blue and I'm, you get as detailed in color as much as you'd like, but I want you to, t you know, I always, when we do a coloring project, I always want you to take your time. And lots of times you'll need to step away for a little while if you want. Coloring can take a long time to color something in. This turtle I'm coloring right now is larger than, than your, one that you have in your kit. Um, I just made another copy that was larger so that uh, it was easier to see on my video. So, <laughs> all right, so I'm going to go along and I can color all of these in. And then sometimes some sea turtles have uh, some designs, you know, kind of some, some designs on their shells. Uh, depending on the type of sea turtle. So yours can be all the blues and greens, but we are going to paint in our background. So, um, you know, with the seawater. So think about if you want a really bright, fun, kind of abstract. You, you do want uh, maybe some, some bright colors in your sea turtle here. They'll real show up when we do the wash. Put some different colors in there. I don't know, get creative with it. <laughs> I'm not pressing real hard. If I press hard, I get kind of a scribbly line and I'm just pressing enough to get some nice color and that it looks nice and not too scribbly. Plus if you're holding your crayon and your hands get, um, if you're holding your crayon too tight and you're pressing too hard, your hands can get really tired, you break your crayons. <laughs> and that's not good. You'll be able to draw longer and sit longer if you're not pressing real hard. Your fingers and hands won't get as tired. All right, so I did the kind of the corners there just to have some fun with it. And I think I'm gonna take this as, what is this called? This one's actually called sea green. Really pretty light color. And I'll just color that in. some time to do all these so you can choose all your colors color till your heart's content <laughs> and any time that um, this takes quite a bit of time so I'm sure you're probably gonna have to revisit me and just sit and color when you're done then you can then I'll show you like the next step. I just wanted to show you. So now maybe the light's coming in this way and there's, you know, reflection in the water and so it's making reflection of some really pretty colors on the shell. I 
don't know. So now I'm using, if this doesn't show up on the video very well, I don't know, but I'm using yellow. Just plain yellow. Okay, so you can continue with that. Um, turtles have these amazing kind of patches, scaly patches, and you, you can color color some of those in. And I'm just giving each little area some color. It doesn't have to be perfect. If you want to sit and draw and trace all those and do a really nice clean job, that's up to you. However you want to, your style of coloring is. All right, so if you're done with your turtle and you have put me on pause and you're visiting back, let's go to the next step. So you work on that finish and then revisit me. Okay, I'm gonna put this little guy over here and I'll bring this one back. Now, um, I can, I think I really like this, the sea green, I really like it. So I'm gonna put a little more in my turtle on his shell and you can see I've already made some seagrass you can color in fish and then when we do the wash I'm going to show you how to do a salt add salt and what it does all right there I'm going to kind of lightly go over his fins with my sea green crayon. And I'm gonna color in his neck and his head with my sea green. I'm gonna go right over the blue. color in his eye. What color should his eye be? Hmm. It should be kind of a kind of a pinky red. <laughs> All right. Oh, I see. I, I forgot this little spot here. There we go. All right. So you can take your any color green and um, your seaweed. I want different. I'm gonna do some blue in there too. Maybe let's try just a couple. Oh, that's like a really lot of seaweed there. I'm gonna try some yellow in there as well. And this is gonna be really bright and colorful when I we paint over it you'll see all right so that's gonna be really bright and colorful so after you're done with your turtle you can add just a few pieces of seaweed or you can put a lot like I did it doesn't matter you can put some fish in there let's see um, I'm gonna add a few more fish but I'm gonna do some I think I'm gonna put a jellyfish in there I'll put him, where should I put a jellyfish? I'm going to put a little one over here. And I'll put little squiggles for the tentacles. There we go. There's one jellyfish. <laughs> and then, what other colors do I want? I'll do one more. One more, one more. I want, more. I want something other. Let me see. How about orange? And we'll do another one over here. So I just made like a, a curved line, just like a cup or a letter C, and then a squiggle. Really simple. Okay, then we'll do some. 
some. And this one's really colorful. <laughs> there. Okay. So now I have a few fish, a couple jellyfish, and I think I'm done. If you want, if you really want to get carried away with your drawing, you can add some sea coral, and that's usually just you can look it up and see what it looks like online to. Kind of make this blob <laughs> and then color it in. Whatever you want. Maybe you want to add a shark. <laughs> so let's see here. All right. Now we're going to do make those a little darker so you can see. Okay, so there's a piece of coral down there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now for our wash. Now I know that, um, just pause because it does take a long time to color this all in, add your seaweed and your fish or whatever else you want in there. Maybe you just want this, the, the turtle. That's fine too. This is your art project. You decide how much you want in it. Now the next thing that we're going to do is something really fun. So um, you're going to take a a little bit of water and some blue paint. You just get a little <clears throat> jar or a little bowl. And I'm gonna put a tiny drop of, well I already have some over here, of green. <clears throat> so it looks like it's a tropical, almost like a turquoise. Blue and green with your water. You want it real thin. I can't see much green in there, so I'm gonna add a little more. I'm gonna add even more, because I want it to be kind of a turquoise, like a tropical, beautiful color. There we go, that's much better. That's what I'm looking for. If you're not sure, you know, I've got this huge piece of paper over here I can test it on. I'll just put this on here. I'm going to move my crayons out of the way. I'm going to put my, my little paint tub back on my towel. So here I can test this and see if I want more green, but that's really pretty. That's like a Caribbean blue. That's really pretty. All right, so here we go. Um, you're going to go take your big brush, the largest brush you have, and water down your paint, dip it in there, and you're going to start from one side and go all the way, all right? And you're just going to go from one corner, one edge, all the way to the other edge, right over your whole drawing. So you want enough crayon on there to, this is called resist. A resist and your crayon will resist the paint. All right? And then you're going to get enough on there. I don't want it to be too runny, so I'm going to take a little bit off. Whoops. Remember that you can always blot, you can all if you get <laughs> way too much. Your yellows and oranges and pinks will show up really well. If you feel like, oh gosh, that's too much, you can just take a, an old washcloth or something over your turtle, over some of the spots if you want. That's fine. Now, that's going to show up better. I have some Himalayan salt, which is not just table salt, but it's um, kind of a more coarse, which it's like larger pieces. And I want you to sprinkle 
your whole picture with a little bit of salt and we're gonna let it dry and this is what it's gonna look like. All right, well, I'll probably have to come back to that, but, whoops, all right. So this is what it looks like with no salt. Just a nice, smooth, and this I did last night, so it's all dry, and I'm gonna take all the salt off of it. Ooh, that's so cool. And this is what you'll get. You'll get, like, the salt will make all these, this really, really fun texture in here. Isn't that beautiful? So if you want it to look smooth, this is with no salt. But you have to sprinkle the salt right away when everything is wet. And then you let it dry. Don't touch it and you let the whole picture dry. And I'm gonna let mine dry, and then um, I will show you at the end of the video what it looks like, okay? So I'm gonna clean this up, come back and visit me when yours is dry, <clears throat> or, you know. <laughs> and um, I, I, this is really fun, so if you get a chance to take a picture, go on my website and get my, my, um, my email and send me some pictures of these. I just think they'll be awesome. So I hope you had fun with this and uh, check out the finished product. Okay, so I had set my sea turtle aside to dry and I have all the salt on it. So together with you, I am going to uh, take like a little paper towel. I have a, probably this would work better. You can use your hand, you can use your hand but I'm gonna use a, um, just a little uh, cloth, you know, like an old cloth. And I'm gonna rub off the salt to see what kind of pattern it left for me. <laughs> Got a lot of salt there. And I sprinkled it around my turtle, not on my turtle. If you did it on your turtle, then you'll just go over your turtle, okay? So. I like the coarse salt just because it leaves a nicer little texture. I think I got most of it off there. I'm not rubbing real hard, I'm just, um, yeah. <laughs> There we go. Hold on a minute. Got my salt over there. There. So now, there's my sea turtle. My, my happy sea turtle in his little undersea world. <laughs> and this will flatten down, or you know, a little trick to um, flattening down a, a project that is curled up is after it's 100% dry, you can uh, put some books on it or something to make it really flat, but make sure it's really dry. <laughs> so there's our pretty little project and that's what the salt does. It kind of makes little speckles and stuff in the sea so it looks a little foamy and um, I like the fact that I when we did the wash I went through and I picked up where I had drawn things so they show up more and um, yeah so that's fun. That was a fun little project. I hope you liked it and I'll see you next time. All right. Have a great day. Bye-bye. Hey, thanks for joining me today. I hope you had fun with that project. Tune in next week. We'll see what we're doing then. Okay, bye-bye.